Good Tuesday morning here. I'm Heather Brown. This is CBS and Minnesota's morning update. Busy news day here in Minneapolis. So let's get you right up to speed on the news and the weather. Riley is uh, going to step in for us to give us an update on what could be a very chilly day today. Yeah, definitely going to stay below average. We're going to make it to the uh, lower to mid 40s for most areas. Good to see uh, clouds kind of hanging out with us. We had a partly sunny sky this morning, but it is dry. Now, as we get into the afternoon, uh, we could see some breeze light uh, isolated snow showers. Some areas are gonna, not going to see anything out of this, but some flurries and these are going to last uh, and hit and miss areas through about sunset or so. Not expecting any accumulation out of that one. And then tonight we'll get some clearing in the overnight hours. Highs overall for both states today are going to stay well below our average, which is right about 60 degrees. You'll see uh, a dry start to the day and then those isolated snow showers come in uh, later on this afternoon, most likely after about one o'clock or so. We'll start to see them up to the north sliding down to the southeast through the early evening. And then tonight we actually clear out overnight under partly cloudy to mostly clear sky. Expect our temperatures uh, on, once again on the cold side, waking up tomorrow morning in the mid to upper 20s, where our average should be right around 39. Heather? Right, Riley, thank you. The fate of Derek Chauvin is in the jury's hands this morning. It's day one of deliberations that ended without a verdict. The jury only got to meet for a couple of hours. This was after a long day of closing arguments. The jury is sequestered until they reach a decision on the three charges that the former Minneapolis police officer faces for George Floyd's death. That is two murder charges, one manslaughter charge. Uh, the jury will be in deliberations. They are expected to come back this morning. Facebook says that it is taking action ahead of the highly anticipated Chauvin verdict. The site says that it will limit posts that contain misinformation and hate speech related to the trial. Facebook says it will also identify and delete posts that urge people to bring arms to Minneapolis. Minnesotan and former Vice President Walter Mondale has died. Mondale served one term under President Jimmy Carter from 1977 to 1981. In 1984, he was the Democratic presidential nominee, but lost in a landslide to Ronald Reagan. Fritz, as he was known, Mondale was 93 years old. We do have a live picture this morning from the White House as flags are flying at half staff in Vice President Mondale's honor. Memorial plans will be announced later for both Minnesota and Washington, D.C. You can find more on his legacy and his life at WCCO.com. A fire destroyed a century-old church in northeast Minneapolis last night. Flames were burning through the roof of the Sacred Heart of Jesus Church last night. The roof eventually collapsed. Firefighters had to rescue some parishioners who had rushed inside to try and put out the flames. The fire department says that the building burned quickly because of the way it was built and the church is now a total loss. The cause of the fire is still being investigated. The twins are back in action today after being sidelined by COVID-19 over the weekend. The team says that they've been cleared to travel and they'll play a straight doubleheader in Oakland today. Yesterday's game against the athletics was postponed to allow for more testing. There were two nationally televised decisions that were made at Minnehaha Academy High School yesterday and both of them involved Gonzaga. Neither of them, though, a really big surprise. Minnesota's Chet Holmgren is going to play college basketball at Gonzaga. He's the seven foot one senior at Minnehaha Academy. He was the number one overall recruit in the country, now projected to be the number one pick already in next year's NBA draft. And to Zag's star guard and former Minnehaha Academy star Jalen Suggs, he was there as well. Later on, he made his own announcement on ESPN. He's heading to the NBA draft after one very successful season with Gonzaga. Now that is your morning update from CBS and Minnesota. We are your only local streaming news source. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back here tomorrow.